but in 2007, police seized 4,900 firearms across the UK. CO19 alone are taking in hundreds of guns every year. In these boxes, we've got roughly a month, month's worth of uh, firearms that have been seized off the streets of London. 400 firearms per month. It's an incredible statistic. This is basically a version of, a, of an AK-47. You'll empty this magazine in full auto mode in a couple of seconds. Three to four hundred a minute. In a crowded environment, that would be absolutely deadly. This is a 9mm Uzi submachine gun. Again, it's an extremely dangerous firearm. Extremely effective at close range and ext extremely dangerous. Various pistols here. The whole point of carrying a pistol around is it's light concealable and um, you know it's got a, a decent rate of firepower. Got shotguns, they've all been shortened to some degree. You can much more easily conceal this. Very, very powerful, very versatile, very reliable. Extremely dangerous pieces of kit. None of these weapons were handed in as part of an amnesty. This is only one month's worth. We get this every single month, and this is just the ones that we're seizing. It certainly focuses our minds as to the sort of quantity and quality of firearms that are out and about there. The days where you had the old-fashioned armed robber with the sawn-off shotgun, they tend to have disappeared. Uh, you know, they would just pull out the gun for that particular crime, shove it down their trousers or inside their raincoat, go in, do the armed robbery and walk out again. Our people are carrying the guns all the time. You know, they're with them 24 hours a day. So it has to be concealed so that we and the public don't realise they're carrying a gun. Most of the people we deal with use every single type of gun you can imagine. From machine pistols to 38s to 45s to replicas to converted weapons. It's totally out of control. This police officer, who feared he'd lose his job for speaking out, asked to remain anonymous. He said for the first time ever, bobbies are carrying firearms, but they're still outgunned by criminals who can buy whatever they want on the black market. Every officer now in this country gets issues with body armor. When I joined the police service back in the 80s, we didn't have any of this. We had a wooden truncheon and a set of chain link handcuffs. The firearms laws have been tightened up since. Why do we still need this equipment? Simply because the criminals have the weapons and they're prepared to use them. Gun policy's gone tragically wrong and police morale at an all-time low. I feel let down by the politicians, by the senior management in the police. Um, I feel at present I cannot give the public the service they demand and expect. And as this officer made very clear, it's a law built on a lie. The politicians, basically, they have misled the public. They said, if we ban handguns, the country's going to be a safer place. They ban the handguns, the country is not a safer place. Why are British people not to be trusted? And I think that says a lot about the government. Citizens left defenseless, now victims of the very laws passed to protect them.